Hello and welcome, I'm David Strom. If you're running Windows XP and want to upgrade to Windows 7 without having to reformat your machine's hard drive, you currently have one choice, a utility called PC Mover from Laplink Software. There are four different versions that you can see from their website here, ranging in price from $20 to $60. I'm using the professional version here, but you may be able to get away with a less expensive model if you don't need all the options. Let's get started. After we install PC Mover on our XP desktop, we select Windows 7 Upgrade Assistant as our migration method, then do the full migration for the in-place upgrade. You will select the defaults if you don't need to change any of the user accounts, and deselect any folders or particular file types that you don't want to migrate. After going through this process, PC Mover saves the collection of settings and files it calls its moving van in a special place on your hard drive. Here you see us saving it on a separate disk partition, just to be safe. Now you want to boot from your Windows 7 CD. When you get to this screen, choose the Custom Advanced setting, and then let Windows take over and do the rest. Make sure you choose the right drive partition, and make sure you're not going to be formatting it. After the Windows install process does its thing, you will now have to reinstall PC Mover. Once that is done, you bring up the application, select New Computer, Windows 7 Upgrade Assistant again, you select the place on your hard drive where the moving van data file is stored, and now PC Mover begins the import process to bring over everything that you saved while the machine was running XP. When everything is done and the PC reboots a final time, you can see here a complete list of our old apps in the Start menu. There are some caveats, of course. As you can see here, PC Mover has a separate tool to weed through the restoration process for your startup apps, because many of these don't work with a newer version of Windows 7. This is a complex process, and there's a lot that can go wrong. Some older apps may not work on Windows 7 without upgrading, and some apps that use digital rights management like iTunes will require reactivation under Windows 7. We have links to more in-depth resources on PC Mover's features on the associated page with this video on our website, along with other how-to screencasts on other Windows 7 topics. Thanks for watching.